CAU is a program that's easy to describe. It's for intellectually curious and engaged people who are interested in coming to one of the most beautiful settings in the world, spending a week with a professor or professors, learning about a subject of interest. It's fun and it's exciting and I think it's enriching. CAU also affords an opportunity for an education vacation for whole families. We're going to be teaching uh, a, a course we're very excited about. It's entitled uh, Cornell's America and America's Cornell. And it's based on a book that we've been working on for slightly shorter than forever. Almost uh, since the centennial. <laughs> that's right. Uh, which deals with the second 75 years of Cornell's history from 1940 to the present. Well, one of the themes that we'll be talking about uh, during the course is in fact the momentous events that occurred on, on the Cornell campus in the second half of the 1960s, uh, when the campus was really one of the epicenters, along with Ann Arbor and Berkeley, uh, of the anti-war movement. And then, of course, Cornell uh, was on the front page of every newspaper in the world uh, in April of 1969 uh, with the black student takeover of, of Willard Strait Hall. Uh, this year, 1964, is in fact the 50th anniversary of the horrific murder of a Cornell student, uh, Michael Schwerner, along with uh, Goodman and Cheney in, in the South as they were trying to register voters. And we're beginning to commemorate those tumultuous events of the late 60s this fall uh, during the sesquicentennial. Yeah, Cornell has so much to teach us about uh, the civil rights movement, the war in Vietnam, divestment from South Africa, openings to China, and we're going to try uh, to deal with all of those themes uh, in the course of a, a week as we deal with them in even greater detail in our book. Cornell has had an extraordinary impact on its community, on this country, and on the world. And there are innumerable examples of how our faculty, and especially our alumni, have had an extraordinary influence. One of them is that rice production throughout the world is different and more efficient and better feeding millions of people because of the contributions uh, of Cornelians. And indeed, it is the marriage of the theoretical and the practical that has contributed to Cornell's impact uh, on this country and the world. And I think it's fair to say we also tell stories, fascinating stories about particular undergraduates who at a certain moment in, in, in history come to play a, a very important role in the life of this institution and of America. I, 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 one example is, is Bruce Dancis, uh, who in 1966 is the first college student in America uh, to destroy his draft card, and he does it on the steps of Hollister Hall. This course is going to illuminate not only the history of Cornell, not only the history of higher education and the importance of higher education, but our own country's history, because it's a way for us to enter into our past uh, and a different way of understanding that past. These years from 1940 uh, to, to 2015 are years of great significance for this country. And this is a way of understanding uh, what happened during these extraordinarily uh, momentous times.